All right, quick question for you guys. How many of your guys' shops look as, like this? Just look at this mess. There's stuff everywhere. This, part of their project, goes with some of this. So I can put shelves here, all that sawdust. Pile of wood, pile of wood, leftover dust collection. All this, which will go into the shelves I go into here. Filed up here. One project, two projects, three projects, four projects. All of this. Heat, cross cut, all that wood. Whatever I'm on now, five, six, seven, whatever the hell it is. Another project. And I got <clears throat> more for that project. Wood for this project. I got to clean up. So the first thing I got to do is get that shelving unit done. And that's what this video is. <laughs> to enclose this side the back and put a side here and put some shelves in here that's what I got this big guy for and one of these two small pieces here I can't which one it is I think it's this one uh, it's just a mess in here guys so let's get this table saw set up to cut this down to the proper size for here and then I need to get this piece cleaned up because that's going to be in the back. Okay, so I got the two side panels here. One's going to go down in here. One's going to get nailed to these or screwed to these two pieces here. The other one's going to go here somewhere. So I got to build some sort of framing for it. But first, I want to get this piece on, and then I should get the back piece on first, which is this guy here on the floor. <coughs> But then I also need to have access to this, so I need to clean the red oak here, the pile of other wood here, some maple. All of this needs to go probably on the workbench until I can get this moved off the wall so I can get this back panel attached to the back and then clean up that stuff too. And then all that turning dust, turning shreds, turning sawdust, all that mess. Sorry about that glare. I don't know if I can. There we go. Let my fatness block it. So, got it all cleaned off. And then, pulled this out so I can get this back panel on. I don't care how long it goes this direction. Because, um, I mean, the shelf's going to stop somewhere after this. Actually, it's pretty good. Now, I got this one just set in right now. And it's sitting in there pretty good, so I'm just going to zip three screws on each side here. And, yeah, that's it. Because there's nothing, there's no way of getting any screws up top here or into this side, because that's, this is level with that, so there's no screws that go in there. I could have cut this long and then cut down little notches, but this should be fine. So here's my thought. I only have this one 2x4, which is 27, 28 inches. I can't remember offhand. And I need two. One for the front here and one for the back back here to attach the other panel on to the side. So it's 18 and 3 8 inches. So I'm going to cut this to 18 and 3 8 inches here. And then table saw it right down the middle to get two. And then I could put each one of those on top of here with pocket hole screw and probably some, I might even add some glue to it just for a schlitz and giggle to add some little extra. Because I don't know how many pocket holes I can get in a 1x2 or 2x2, two two, whatever it is going to be in, 2x2, two 2x1.5, two, two by one 2 by something But, so i got one side there, so I've got something like this. It'll be right here. Because I don't have enough two by fours laying around because I don't want to spend any money right now any more money to do this so I'm just gonna plop those in there and then try my best to keep them level because I need a drawer to fit in so I'll probably measure in this way measure in 
this way and drop them. Okay, let's see if I can block the light now again. Jeez, it's always just light. So I got the back one on here, then this one on here. Um, they're both 20 inches from here to this side of the. So from here to this side, 20 inches. So now, the, oh, pardon me. Oops, wrong direction. So now I can put this in here and then screw this into here. We don't need a we don't need a bottom because the drawers. So this will get screwed in here. Okay, got that other wall in. So now I got my base cabinet here, basically a cabinet here. Now your standard thickness this way thickness this way is a half an inch per slot so that's one inch total that I got to subtract from this gap here and that is 18 inches so if I make a drawer front 17 inches that's plenty now I want to remember how deep these are it's 20 deep so it's seven uh, shoot <laughs> 18 not oh, three meter 20 by 18 i think it is so i have to make it a 20 by 17 and i want to do a little bit shorter in the back so i'm going to make it a 19 by 17 drawer if i'm not mistaken the drawer size was 17 and a half i think it was so i better you know, get some paper rewrite these numbers down but i think i want to make it 19 deep and then 17 wide uh or but i don't know how tall how deep to make how how far inside I don't know this depth this this measurement yet of the drawer so I'll get to that in a minute okay all right so I got this piece cut 19 this way so I can just get my the two side the depth sides I guess two two of the sides I can just cut cut and then cut 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 because I'm gonna do three drawers I just don't know what how deep I want to make the other two yet but the first one I want to make is gonna be four all right, there's two of the deep sides of the drawers. That's two of the fours and two of the fives. I'm only going to do those little bits now. Um, I'm going to have to measure and see how big I want the third drawer to be. This is the most important one, the four-inch drawer. So now I need some 17s. All right, here's my three drawer parts. 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch. So if, when I put them in, if I decide later to put a face frame around it, it'll be a half an inch all the way around, so it adds an inch. So it'll be 5, 6, and 7. So we got 5, 6 is 11, seven, and then 7 on top of that's 18. That's an 18 inch hole. So now, most, like I said, the important one is this guy here. So I need to set up my dado stack here to cut the box joints to put box joints on these guys and then what I might do first is cut which I will actually I'll cut that first I'll set the table saw up to be able to receive the piece of plywood as the bottom of the shelf so I'm just going to cut a, a dado with the table saw blade just run it through it once slide it over to an eighth of an inch and run it through a second time to cut a quarter inch um, dado and I'll do all of these while I'm doing that all right so I set the depth of my blade to about half the thickness of the uh, piece of plywood here ran it through once at, uh, at uh, a quarter of an inch off the fence and then moved it an eighth of an inch and cut it through again just to get that nice quarter inch dado down in there so the bottom of the shelf can set inside that. So now I need to change out this blade and put my dado in so I can cut the finger joints on the ends. So I'm going to get that set up and we'll go from there. But I also got done. These are not by the standard blue company. These are some generic ones I picked up off of the Amazon. But they have that little lip right there on the edge that 
pressed up against there. So I just took a, I like it right there. So I put it here and then clamped it down, use the other one and the level to level it off and clamp it on the other side here and installed the rails. So I've got this rail installed on this, this side and this one installed over on this side. And then I also used my little depth gauge, which is back over there on the bench, to make sure that they are set in the same amount on each side. All right, well, I got the four corners, three boxes of the box joints done. Really pay attention to what you're doing when you're doing those guys. Um, I don't know which one it is. I started one of the corners incorrect. I did one cut, realized it was wrong, and then, because I, I looked to make sure I was doing it right, did it wrong, and then changed it and fixed it. So, I got all these, these two, and this one. And I also got the three bottoms cut. They're not, this one is, I just wanted to put slap one together real quick and make sure that I got the sizes and cut right. Now the only thing I can see that could be an issue is the flexibility at the bottom. Worst case, I can just tape like a piece of something, brace it on the bottom, but who cares right now? Not there. But this is the middle shelf, which I don't know why I started there. I should have started with the bottom or the top shelf because that's the one I need. So this is glued on the four corners in the uh, where the box joints are, squeezed together. Measured the angles, or the corner to corner, you know, corner, corner, 25 and a half inches, corner, corner, 25 and a half inches after I clamped it and got it there. So now that is just going to dry. All right, got the three drawers. These are all been drying, hopefully. I mean, it's, they've been, the glue's been freezing. <laughs> it's been freezing cold out here. So now I need to, because got the screws going in this this way into the boxes I have to uh, pull this slide the whole stand this way a tad angle it out this way a little bit just so I can get or if I just pull it straight out actually I can open the door and then get the screws for that rail in or that slide in the other two slides are not here yet they're supposed to be here today so I'm not going to show you doing all those but let me get the, the blue doohickey set up and get this thing out and we'll show you what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to freeze my butt off. Come on, slides. Get these slides out just a little bit. Set this drawer on the blue thing here and get the, some of the screws in. So watch this. As you can see, it just the, the drawer just rests on these blue things here. So now I'm going to take this guy, put it like this. And then bring the drawer slide up to it. And now if I zip a screw in right there, this one is set. And there's one screw. So I can do the same thing on the other side. And then pull the drawer out slightly and get all the rest of the screws in. There's the drawer. So right now, I don't have any drawer slides or pulls on me, sorry. But now it comes out. I can put stuff in it. And I can close it. Got to get the other two done, and then make some drawer pulls. Just gonna make little knobs, hopefully. But I gotta get these two drawers installed first. These two installed. That way I can push this back where it belongs. But there's one. Now I can hold all of my, and I can still get my finger up in there to get that out for now. Because I left a half an inch up here, and there's a half an inch on each side, and I'm going to leave a half an inch, well, an inch, and then an inch between the other two, and then a half inch here. So, an inch here, an inch here, and a half inch here. That way, if I, I can put a faceplate on here, which would be one inch bigger all the way around, just barely, so just underneath, or an inch all the way around and then make it look prettier. Step one and clean shop complete three drawers here guys so 
I don't have pulls on them. I don't have faces on them or anything like that. But it's a shop. I'm not too worried about it yet. I'm going to call this done for now because I can still get in there and get to them. Now I just got to put stuff in them. Got a little bit in here. This going to be my turning calibers and things like that in here. And then these, don't know. Just stuff. One, two, three block. Other things that are maybe some clamps. I don't know. Just some stuff out of the way. But there we go. This will be the knob pulls at some point later video. But for now, check done.